Hey guys, welcome home. So today's tutorial, I am going to teach you how to schedule a meeting in Zoom. Without any further ado, let's get in the house. There are three ways on how we can set up a scheduled meeting in Zoom. So number one, we have uh, the mobile application. Number two, we have the desktop application. And number three, the web portal application or the website of the Zoom. So this time, I am going to discuss to you how we can set up our, a scheduled meeting in Zoom through the use of web portal. So why web portal? It is because all of the settings are already in place in the web portal and it is very easy to manipulate or set up or change the settings of the meeting so to begin um, we will going to sign sign up or sign in using our google account in the web portal so this time if you're already logged in just go to the my account you can see it at the upper right upper right side part of the main page of zoom or the home page of zoom then click it and then we can see the my account page we have here the at the left side part of the page we have here the menu so to set up the schedule meeting we have two options at the top menu we have here a schedule a meeting we can click this one uh, to automatically uh, set up a scheduled meeting and we, we can also click the meetings menu at the left side part of the page but this time to make it easier for you uh, we are going to uh, click a schedule a meeting at the top menu so click it and we are now at the main interface of a schedule a meeting so we can see we have here uh, settings for the schedule a meeting so we have here the topic so the topic it is where we can um, put our topic of the meeting or the name of the meeting for example uh, we have here my meeting then we have here the description so the description of the meeting is optional so trial set up schedule and below we have also here when is the meeting to occur so we have here the calendar icon just click it and choose whatever date that you wish to schedule your meeting and we have also the time so you can choose whatever time you want for your meeting and we have your em and pm so let's say for example 1 30 pm and then your estimated duration of the meeting so we can set up here uh, for example two hours and 30 minutes and we have here also the time zone uh, you can according to the time zone of your place if uh, so we have here a lot of um, uh, settings some are predefined and some are not defined so we have here if you want a registration to be enabled so just click this one or not uh, if for the security you can can check the passcode if you want uh, security for the meeting so if ever your participants were going to join the meeting they will be asked for a passcode and that is for the security purpose um, we have here waiting room so if you enable this one um, all the participants will be put first at the waiting room before unless they will be admitted then that's the time they can join the meeting so for the video uh, we have here the option on or off uh, that these are the default value of the settings for video host on or off participant on or off as they join the meeting 
So we have also here for the audio, uh, just click telephone or computer or both. Then you have also meeting options. So uh, we can check all the boxes or not. So it will always depend on us and how are we going to to place all the settings for the a particular meeting. So allow participants to join anytime or or not. So just check or uncheck the check boxes. We have also here require authentication to join. Um, breakout room, pre-assigned, request permission to unmute participants, automatically record meeting or approve or block entry to users from specific regions or countries. So after all, we have uh, set up a scheduled meeting. Then we can just click the save button. Uh, okay. So after we click the save button, then we can see our meeting here so the topic is my meeting the description trial setup a scheduled meeting and then the time so these are the uh, settings that we use to set up our scheduled meeting so we can add that particular meeting to google calendar outlook calendar or yahoo calendar we have here the meeting id the passcode since it is enabled and the waiting room is also enabled so it is important to note this invite link so this will be the one that you are going to use to send to the participants of the particular meeting so before the meeting will start just send this invitation link to the participants so that they will be uh, notified to join the meeting so if you opt to start the meeting, just click this button at the lower part of the page. And then to invite the participants, just click the copy invitation here at the right side part of the page. Just click the link and then we can see here the description of the meeting invitation. Here and there. So just copy it. and send all of and send this uh, description or the meeting invitation to the participant that you wish to join the meeting so that's all thank you very much um this is miliamo Ferds. until next time adios